Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to revisit the genetic origins of the Iron Age Iranians from the sites of Dinka Tape, Tape Hassanu as well as Haji Feruz Tape. As many of you may know, the only ancient Iron Age Iranian samples as well as some samples from the Bronze Age that we currently have that have been sequenced by professional geneticists are from these three sites that I just mentioned. And while these samples may seem close to modern day Iranians, they are nonetheless very divergent genetically speaking. The main issue here is that the sites of Dinka Tape, Haji Firuz and Tape Hasanlu reflect and represent a different cultural client compared to the later Iranics who migrated to Iran around the same time period. Thus, these three sites and the samples that they've yielded are not reflective of the ancient Iranian genome and this is quite interesting. Now before I proceed any further, I'd like to thank my good friend Azad Mard who runs the Iranic Genomes Project and recently he wrote a very interesting comment on one of my older videos. The comment in question stated, those particular individuals Hassan Ludinka Tape and Haji Firuz Iron Age belong to the Western Grey Ware archaeological phenomenon which is unrelated to modern day Iranians and in brackets he said this non-relation is verified by formal metrics such as QP wave analysis, so it makes little sense to use them as a proxy. Then Azad Mard went on to say that they appear more closely related to modern Iranians than they actually are because of SNP reduction in G25 to 300,000 SNPs. They are otherwise as distant to Iranians as Armenians are at higher SNP counts when using metrics such as FST and F2. And to conclude, he wrote, Repeated use of Western Graver as pertains to Iranians therefore doesn't really make much sense. Now this is a very interesting comment and I agree with this and I think Azad Mard makes a good point. Thus, I will no longer be using the Western Graver samples to model modern day Iranians. Now to illustrate how misleading G25 can be at times, here are the distances for the Dinka Tape samples which particularly had an Iranian plateau profile. So I actually sorted these samples out myself and you can see that the closest populations are indeed modern day Iranian populations. Moving on, you can see the exact same results for the Haji Faru samples. Finally, we have the Hassanlu Iranian plateau profile samples and again you can see the modern day Iranians including the Kurds and other groups are very closely related to these ancient Iron Age Iranians and this is especially misleading and while I don't have the FST results, I can nonetheless say that they prove that the modern day Iranians are fairly divergent from these Iron Age Iranians associated with the Western Grey Bear. Now as many of you may know, these samples were from a recent genetic study dated to 2022 and the study was titled The Genetic History of the Southern Arc, A Bridge Between West Asia and Europe. What's especially interesting about this study is that it featured a lot of ancient samples associated with the Western Grey Bear phenomenon. Prior to this study, we only had two samples from ancient Iran, one from Haji Firuz and the other from Tape Hasanlu. This study added an additional 20 to 25 samples from the ancient sites of Dinka Tape and Tape Hasanlu. Now here is a map from the study and you can see that most of the samples taken were from northwestern Iran from the Iron Age which is very interesting though nonetheless you can see that previously sampled sites from western as well as from northeastern and southeastern Iran are also featured on this map. Though please keep in mind that these samples predate the Iranic migrations to the plateau and for this reason they cannot be considered representative of the ancient Iranian population. Now before I proceed any further, here is Azad Mard's channel and it's titled Azad Mard 101. And also Azad Mard actually runs a Twitter page known as the Iranic Genomes Project and this is very interesting. And those of you who've done a genetic test in the past, please send your raw data to Azad Mard's research as it would be very helpful. In fact, for those of you who would be interested in participating in the Iranic Genomes Project, it would be well worth your time. And I also feel that Azad Mard will be able to give you personalized feedback on your genetic origins. 
For these reasons, please do check out both his YouTube channel as well as his Twitter page. Now before I proceed any further, I just like to say that while the ancient Iranian samples from the Iron Age and the Bronze Age as well from Dinka Tape, from Haji Fruz as well as Hassan Lu are not reflective of ancient Iranian genetics from the ancient civilization of the Iranics, there are samples that are coming from the sites of northern Iran that were associated with the Parthians and here is the admixture panel for these samples. I feel that these uh, samples which will be featured in an upcoming study are very much reflective of the ancient Iranian genome and are much more useful than the samples that we currently have from the Iron Age from the three aforementioned sites. Thus these samples from the sites of West Amin, Mersin Chal as well as Lyar Sag Ban will be very useful for modeling most modern day Iranians particularly those of northwestern and northern Iran. Now up next, I'd like to model the ancient Iron Age Iranian populations from Dinka Tape, from Haji Firuz and Tape Hasanlu, and I'll also be featuring models for modern day Iranians which will be a bit different. Now without further ado, I'd like to get into the next phase of this analysis. Here are the source populations that will be utilized and you can see that there is a catacomb Russian source which is a Caucasian steppe source, then there is a Neolithic Iranian source, there is a Caucasian hunter-gatherer source, there is a Neolithic Anatolian source, there is a Neolithic Levantine source, there is a Siberia Neolithic source, a South Asian Bronze Age source, a Moroccan Neolithic source as well as an Ethiopian or Sub-Saharan African Neolithic source. All of these sources are integral to assessing the ancestral origins of the ancient Iron Age Iranians from the aforementioned sites. Here we have the results for the Dinka Tepe sample. So you can see there on average 12.5% Russia steppe catacomb, 37.5% Neolithic Iranian, 14.9% Caucasian hunter-gatherer, 18.9% Neolithic Anatolian, 16.1% Neolithic Levantine and 0.1% Siberia Neolithic. What's evident from these results is that these samples are mostly descended from a Neolithic and indigenous West Asian source but they also have a bit of steppe ancestry as well. What this means is that there were indeed steppe incursions into Iran from the Caucasus that even predated the Aryan migrations. Now moving on, we have the results for the two samples we have from Haji Firuz. One of these samples are from the Bronze Age and the other is from the Iron Age. Now with these results, you can see that these samples are on average 33.7% Russia steppe catacomb, 24.5% Neolithic Iranian, 11.0% Caucasian hunter-gatherer, 22.8% Anatolia Neolithic and 8.0% Levant Neolithic. Now for one of these samples, the results are very similar to the previous uh, samples that I took a look at but nonetheless you can see that for the Bronze Age Haji Firu sample, it has a bit more steppe ancestry and I feel that this is a pre-Iranic migration to northwestern Iran from the Caucasus. Thus there was some genetic variation amongst the ancient populations of northwestern Iran. Now up next we have mid and late Bronze Age samples from Hassan Lu and there on average 9.5% Russia steppe catacomb, 26.0% Neolithic Iranian, 16.9% Caucasian hunter-gatherer, 15.8% Anatolia Neolithic and 31.8% Levant Neolithic. What's evident from these results is that on a genetic level these samples had a more Levantine shift compared to the other ones analyzed here. Nonetheless, you can also see that they have significant Neolithic ancestry from Iran with a bit of ancestry from the steppe as well. Though nonetheless, these samples reflect a unique genetic profile during the Bronze Age. Finally, here are the Hassan Lu samples from the Iron Age and this will be the last of the ancient samples analyzed here. So you can see these are on average 14.1% Russia steppe catacomb, 34.8% Neolithic Iranian, 12.9% Caucasian hunter-gatherer, 18.5% Anatolia Neolithic, 18.6% Levant Neolithic and 1.1% South Asia Bronze Age. Now with the exception of one of the samples which is likely from Central Asia, the remaining have no connection to the ancient Aryans and again are mostly just of Iran Neolithic ancestry with some ancestry deriving from an Anatolia Neolithic, a Levan Neolithic as well as a steppe source. Again, these samples are primarily indigenous to West Asia. 
Now what's interesting to note here is that one of the samples is 4.4% South Asian Bronze Age derived and what this means is that likely this sample is from the Mitanni culture or a closely related ancient Iranic or Indo-Iranian culture from Central Asia. Nonetheless, it is not an ancient Iranic as was the case with the Medes and the Persians, among others. Now before I conclude this analysis, i just like to take a look at the genetic origins of modern day Iranians and here are the source populations I will be using. Again, this is very similar to the last source population though the only difference is that I am not using a catacomb source and instead I am using a direct Indo-European M9 source. Thus, the final aspect of this analysis will take a look at the genetic origins of modern day Iranian populations. The Kurds and the Azerbaijanis will not be featured in this part of the analysis. Now here are the results for the modern day Iranians and you can see they are on average 15.0% Yamnayan, 35.9% Iran Neolithic, 9.6% Caucasian hunter gatherer, 20.0% Neolithic Anatolian, 15.2% Neolithic Levantine, 1.6% Siberian Neolithic and 2.6% Bronze Age South Asian. What's evident from these results is that on a genetic level modern Iranians mostly descend from Neolithic Iranians though they do have a bit of steppe ancestry as well and their Lawan Neolithic as well as their Anatolia Neolithic and Caucasian undergather ancestry is quite a bit also. Nonetheless as previously mentioned they have minimal Siberian Neolithic and Bronze Age South Asian ancestry. For these reasons they are very close genetically to the Iron Age Iranian samples that were taken a look at here but nonetheless their ethnogenesis is very different which is quite interesting. Thus it is evident from these results that modern day Iranians are primarily of West Eurasian descent and a minimal non-West Eurasian ancestry. To conclude in this analysis I revisited the genetic origins of the ancient Iranians from the Iron Age from the sites of Dinka Tape, Tape Hasanu and Haji Firuz. What was proven here is that these samples are not really ancestral to modern day Iranians and are genetically a bit divergent from them. That's essentially it for this analysis thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe.